Oh man, we just got some awesome news. Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about some very, very exciting stuff because Angela Kang just had an interview teasing the season finale, specifically the last scene of the season finale, and she says it's going to change everything. And the thing that jumped at me was uh, Rick Grimes possibly returning to The Walking Dead by having a voice cameo on Eugene's radio. And Eugene come in the group coming in contact with Rick again. I think that's going to change everything. But we're going to talk about all this, you know, to discuss what it could possibly mean and break it down with you guys. So with that being said... I'm excited, so let's get started. All right, so yeah, Angela Kang had an interview with Deadline where she said the final scene of the season is going to change everything. And it's so crazy. Like, I, like they get us so excited. And that's information I did not expect us to get. But now I cannot wait to see this episode. But there's a big theory going around for the last few weeks that, you know, we're going to hear Rick Grimes in the radio. And, you know, I think that's going to be very well possible now because of what she said. We're going to discuss exactly what she said in a minute. But... You know, we had the Pikes in the previous episode, episode 15. So, you know, episode 16, the finales are supposed to be big episodes. And the Pike, you know, the Pike moment is a huge moment. So, a lot of people, you know, were expecting that to happen in the finale, but it isn't. So, something bigger has to happen in the finale. And I think the only thing that could really top that would be if we hear Rick, in my opinion. Like, I would like... That's the best way to top, you know, this amazing season, you know, putting the cherry on top by letting us hear Rick's voice. And I got to say, AMC handled Rick's departure with perfection. Like, you know, they knew people were going to leave the show if Rick died. So they didn't kill Rick. They made an agreement with him. They planned this for many, many years, and they came to an agreement to make movies. And then in this season, you know, he flew off in a helicopter. So, you know, I think they want people to come back next season because we know, like, the season, you know, if you look at the ratings for the season, after Rick's final episode, this, this, the um, ratings remain pretty steady because the quality of the season was really good. Like, the immediate episode after Rick, a lot of people, I'm sure, tuned in to see what would have happened, you know, the first episode without Rick. And it was a pretty solid episode. It, and it was the introduction of the Whisperers, which was very interesting. So, it makes sense why, you know, the rest of the season was pretty steady in ratings, even increasing by the end of the season. Like, the ratings have actually increased as the episodes have gone by. And I think the best way to make sure all these people come back, plus possibly even more that maybe left when Rick's final episode came, is by letting us hear Rick at the end to give us hope that he will return. Now, I say that, but we know, because we look at all the news and stuff, that Rick most likely isn't going to be coming back on the show, as far as we know. But they are. They also want us to get us excited for the Rick Grimes movies because those are going to be airing on AMC. And I'm sure they want a lot of people to watch those also. And I think hearing Rick's voice would make, you know, the fans so happy, especially after that tragic, you know, thing that happened in episode 15, you know. Because I, I feel like, you know, with this whole radio thing, they can come in contact with pretty much anybody. Like, they could come in contact with Georgie. They can come in contact with the Commonwealth. But... None of those people are really going to make the fans happy, but Rick Grimes will. And I think they want to do that because that's definitely going to top, you know, episode 15. You know, that's like a season finale type episode right there. But the best way to end it is, I think, with Snow and Rick. Like, imagine, like, they are definitely treating fans with that. Like, we already got Snow. I mean, we're, we know we're getting Snow. And Snow is something everybody's been asking for. And now if we get Rick at the end, oh, man, they're just treating us at that point. And we also know the whole Andrew Lincoln situation isn't because he doesn't want to be on the show anymore. It's because he wants to be with his family, which is totally understandable. And I think a voice cameo is... Is pretty simple to do. I don't even think he would have to be on set to do that. Like, he could even send in a voice recording from home. Like, they can do that, you know. In the technology they have today, I'm sure that's possible. I actually read this thing that um, there was this movie that came out last year called Isle of Dogs. Pretty good movie. But an actor, it's like an animated movie. Um, and an actor on that, you know, movie, he said he couldn't make it on set and he recorded his lines on the phone and he sent it in and they put him on the movie. So, you know, we live in a day and age where it's possible to record stuff from your phone and, you know, at home and send it, you know, across the world to people to put it on TV or whatever. So I definitely think a voice cameo is possible. But let's get into what Angela King specifically said and then we're going to talk more about it. So she told Deadline, since this was the year we'd meet the Whispers who have adopted an animalistic anti-civilization survival of the fittest philosophy, we paired out with seeing more stories about how environmental obstacles and the breakdown of man-made infrastructure have affected our characters. Then I wanted to push that past the limits of what we've done on the show before. So in the finale, winter is coming. And then in season 10, the conflict with the whispers will amp up and 
terrifying and hopeful surprising ways and we'll also discover something related to the last scene of the season which I won't spoil that will once again change everything for our heroes. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Bring it on. Whatever it is, I want to see what it is now. I mean, I mean, each and every single episode this season has got more and more exciting and you know, I didn't like I was at first kind of skeptical like how are they going to top episode 15 that big huge moment from the comics and I'm telling you right now the best way to top that is by letting us hear Rick's voice. So based on what she's saying here you know obviously we're gonna hear someone on the radio. We'll also discover something related to the last scene of this season which I won't spoil that will once again change everything for our heroes. So this could be the Commonwealth or Rick. I really want it to be Rick and I feel like if it's gonna change everything for our heroes I think it has to be Rick because if they just hear a voice from a stranger, they're not gonna give a shit about it, you know? Like, they already know there's communities out there. Like, they know Georgie exists. You know, they're not worried about Georgie. They're doing their own thing. They're surviving, you know? They worry about their friends and family. So, if they hear a voice in the radio from a stranger, I don't really think they're gonna care that much. They're gonna be like, okay, so what? We know there's people out there. But if they hear Riggs' voice, that's gonna change everything, specifically for Michonne and Daryl. And we also know they're setting up Michonne's exit in season 10. So, I think it has to be Rick because that's going to change everything for her. You know, that, I think because they did say they're going to try to, you know, they did say season 10 will be the last season for Denai Guerrero, but they also said they're going to try to fit her in with the Ray Grimes movies. Like, they're, that's in the works right now. They're trying to make it work so she's going to be in those movies, which I think is perfect because I can definitely see a reunion between them in that second movie. And, you know, how is the Commonwealth? I don't, I don't really see how the Commonwealth is going to change these characters forever. Like, it's just like a random group out there. Like, maybe once they actually get to see and meet them and stuff, yeah, it's going to change them. But just like if what they're going to encounter in the last scene of this season, I think it has to be Rick. And also, in order for Michonne to leave, you know, she has to have some sort of indication that Rick Grimes is alive. Like, she's been looking, like we saw in the flashbacks in episode 14. Like, she goes out and walks around, you know, that area that the bridge exploded every day. Like, she's been looking for Rick for a long time. But she has two young kids, so she's not going to go very far away or anything. She's not going to go to a different state. But if she has some sort of indication and confirmation that Rick is alive 100%, of course she's going to go. So this is also a really good preview of Season 10. Because she's saying, basically, that the Whisperers will amp up in terrifying and hopeful, surprising ways. Which means we're going to go into the Whisper War, right? And then also, she said that, you know, we're going to discover something related to the last scene of the season, which I won't spoil, but will once again change everything for our heroes. I think that could mean both um, the Commonwealth and Michonne's exit, because they have, they have, I think they're going to go with, they have to do three things in season 10, I believe. They have to, you know, have the Whisper War wrap up. You know, I don't think the Whisper War is going to, I have a feeling the Whisper War is going to wrap up in half a season. I don't really see it going a full season. I feel like the second half of season 10 will be, you know, the Commonwealth, you know, and slowly introducing the Commonwealth, especially since they said that they have plans for Maggie to return in Season 10. And I don't see Maggie being involved in the Whisper War because she wasn't there when they first came, so I don't really see her just randomly joining the Whisper War. I feel like for Rick and Maggie, the Whispers are going to be a story people tell them about, which is going to be really cool also. But that, that that's also why I kind of think Maggie's going to return in the mid-season finale, and that would be like, the, that would be a great ending, you know, uh, for the the midseason finale because they just got done with this whisper war and they're all tired. And then, you know, on top of that, they get their friend back, which would be like a happy, happy ending. So I think Maggie's going to return in the midseason finale. And then the second half was slowly introduced the whisper, or excuse me, the Commonwealth. And then the third thing they need to set up in season 10 is, you know, Michonne's exit, which would be connected with Rick if this, you know, because like I said, she has to get some sort of indication that he's alive and the radio is the best way to do that. And she's saying it's going to be the last scene of the season. So the way I kind of envision it in my head is that we're going to have this scene and it's going to cut to black. And if it's going to be a random voice like somebody from the Commonwealth that we have no clue, like fans are going to be like, okay, it's just a voice. What a big deal. Like, that's it. You know, it's not a big deal or anything. But if they want us to get us excited for the future of The Walking Dead, not even season 10, because we know Rick most likely won't be in season 10, but it's a franchise now. So in order to get us excited for the rest of The Walking Dead universe, you know, put Rick's voice in there. You know, that way fans are going to recognize it immediately and it would be the perfect last scene of the season. But yeah, this was really, really awesome news. I, I can't wait for the finale. I mean, this season has been remarkable as a whole. You know, episode 15 was great and now they're going to top that with an amazing finale and I can't wait for it. But let me know in the comments down below 
all your thoughts and opinions on this. What do you think is that, you know, final scene going to be? Do you think it's going to be a radio type thing or do you think it's going to be someone else? Do you think Eugene is going to get in contact with Rick, the Commonwealth? What do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally think it's going to be a radio thing connected with Rick because they have been setting up that radio for far too long. And that's really the only thing I can see happening that would change the characters' lives forever. But let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more Walking Dead content just like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.